Behold the Sonic Totem, an ancient Christian relic you are about to learn of. Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're learning all about the Sonic Totem, which is actually one of the relics of Christography. That is the study of Christian. I'm really looking forward to this. I hope you are as well. Before we begin, let's say hello to our newest subscribers, Super Life, Tranny Tanner, and Cuba. Good to have you guys. Let's begin. The Sonic Totem is one of the Christian relics. It's shrouded in more mystery than any of the others. Created by Chris in middle school and made out of paper mache, it is one of the oldest known Christorical artifacts, as well as one of the oldest known artifacts to have survived the destruction of Chris's house. Originally, the totem was joined by a set of two separate objects, one of Pikachu and a sculpture in the form depicting Sonic. The totem has been featured very little in any of Chris's videos. After the destruction of the house fire, many assumed the totem had been destroyed, but it suddenly reappeared in full view during Chris's sleepover party announcement and went on to make its most major appearance to date several years after the fire. As a result of the financial crisis, Chris sold the totem for $1,500 in April of 2017. It now resides in the home of an Anon called Ashura Glitch. Looking over this totem again, you can see it's uh, it's really interesting. I would definitely have been interested in purchasing this, however, not for the price that he was asking for it. But this looks really cool. Uh, it's 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 unique. It's it's very artistic. Would any of you have been interested in uh? purchasing this paper mache sonic and here's that actual image where you can see the totem over here in the upper left corner you can see the sonic totem just chilling behind the uh, other objects in april of 2017 due to money mismanagement by barb chris finally acknowledged the existence of the sonic totem by putting it up for sale along with a small collection of skylanders on ebay for fifteen hundred dollars he filmed sonic totem and more to advertise it which we're about to take a look at this is Christine Chandler coming to you live from home once again with a very new exclusive offer. Definitely for a limited time, so you want to rush to get, want to rush to buy this before April 30th, the Sonic Totem Pool I made in our class so many years ago. Now Chris got the idea to list this totem for sale after a Kiwi Farms user sent him the suggestion as a joke. The description that went along with that item read, Made way back in the mid-1990s in middle school, by the artist who took the world by electric storm with Sonichu and Rosichu, here is Miss Christine Weston Chandler's, formerly known as Christian, paper mache totem of Sonic the Hedgehog. It will be shipped very well in a big box with packing materials via UPS to the buyer, so buy this artwork collectible now. Some more images here. There's something about paper mache that I just, I find beautiful. It's extraordinary to me. The texture and the, especially when it's done like this. Got the bonus items with it as well. I love the paint too. The, it's just unique. Have you guys ever made anything with paper mache? If so, please let me know down in the comments. While you're down there, why not hit the thumbs up too? I, I'd really appreciate that. In some ways, it almost reminds me of the Ugandan knuckles in some way. I love that Ugandan knuckles thing. Some people get upset with me and they say, that meme is gone. Don't talk about that meme anymore. But I'm always going to love the Ugandan knuckles. Now, the Sonic Totem was actually purchased within four hours of being listed on eBay for, again, $1,500. Now, one hour after this sale, Chris spent $400 on a gold necklace. Within three days, he spent $750 more on Skylander's Avatar products. In April, the totem's new owner posted, confirming he received the totem. The Sonic totem finally arrived safely, despite being sent in two boxes, scotch-taped together with trash used as packing material. Got some pictures here. This is a... Uh... Oh, wow, it was actually shipped like that? Oh, hey, and it's got a neat note, too. Imagine the joy that this man felt whenever the package arrived. And it actually came with a certificate of authenticity. Wow. The certificate verifies the authenticity. Well, my friends, that brings us to the end of this chapter. What do you think of the Sonic Totem? I'd love to hear from you down in the comments. And hey, if you'd like to learn more about this entire Chris Chan story, I've got a link pinned in the comments that will take you to our entire Chris Chan playlist. We learn a little something new about Chris Chan every day around here. Until next time, my friends, take care, and I will see you all very soon.